Welcome to Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories. Here's what's cooking in Shale's Kitchen today. Hot and peppery mango chow, a Trini favorite. When I was growing up in Trinidad and Tobago, one of my very favorite times of the year was mango season. I couldn't wait to get up in the morning and rush under the mango tree to check and see what mangoes had fallen during the night and also to check the tree to see what mangoes were getting to that perfectly ripened state to pluck from the tree. We sure loved eating those mangoes but one of the other things that we really loved was making a nice hot peppery mango chow and a mango chow I guess the best way to describe it would be like a hot salsa a hot mango salsa and I'm going to show you how to make that today. So this is the way that we like to do it. First we're going to start with a half ripe or ripe mango that's been peeled and cut into large chunks. To the mango I'm going to add some finely chopped shadow bani which is also known as culantro that you can get at your Spanish store or a good substitute is also cilantro and some finely chopped hot pepper fresh ground garlic and some salt and pepper to taste. Now it's very easy, you just mix all of these ingredients together. That's it, there's your mango chow. Hot and peppery mango chow, a Trini favorite. Sweet mango, hot pepper. It's great. This is a really quick and easy recipe that you can make with a lot of different fruit as well. Uh, very popular in Trinidad is palm cite chow or plum, you know, like a green plum chow. We love those as well. But I've also heard a lot of people making uh, apple chow and, you know, using different types of fruit to make their chows. So you can just experiment and see what you can come up with. Hope you enjoyed this quick and easy recipe and I'm going to continue snacking. Until next time, ciao. Thank you for spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you next time on Shale's Kitchen. Home of good food and good memories.